Hello, gorgeous soul. Here is your June astrology. Can you believe that six months of the year, half the year is gone? But June is fabulous. It's packed with potential opportunity and a sprinkling of fate and destiny, which normally <laughs> I'm not into, nor do I quote. But the North Node is joining forces with Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. The North Node is our destiny. It's, you know, our greatest journey and it's what we're here for and it is providing us with the opportunity to grow and evolve and marvelous things are on their way could in, could even involve someone from the past or an opportunity from the past rocking up but this time we are ready to grab it this is a stunning month from the get-go here's your monthly astrology Aries, you divine creature. Oh, I have some brilliant news. Let's start at the beginning, though, and that Jupiter uh, joining forces with the North Node in your position of security. There is the opportunity to feel much more secure, not only within yourself, but also some abundance could come your way. Yes, we do have to push through, face our fears and believe in ourselves to achieve it, but it is there. It's right there and there should be some strange synchronicities and coincidences that lead you to this sense of abundance and security. So it's fabulous. Pay attention at the very beginning of the month to see what comes up for you and what you feel you need to overcome and let go of to be able to achieve that. Mercury is also out of retro shadow. Happy days. So communication is much clearer. In fact, on the 4th of June, Mercury is joining forces with Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable. So you should get some news around that time that you aren't expecting, but could lead to, again, abundance and security. Now, there's lots of fabulous things going on in fire signs, which we benefit from. I'm an Aries too, as you probably know. So it kicks off with the full moon in Sagittarius, which is awakening our wild side. We're feeling adventurous. We're feeling that we want to maybe travel or study, feast on knowledge and new experiences. So look for the messages of the moon about where you should be going or look for an opportunity to really revel in the new and expressing your unique soul as well. Now, some really, really good news is that Venus, the planet of love, is going into Leo, which is one of the best places for us. Yeah, baby. It makes us bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. We're optimistic, we're confident, and we are like really enjoying pleasure and love affairs maybe, or even creativity, whatever floats your boat. But what is so extraordinary about this is that it's gonna be there for months because Venus is going retrograde, is going backwards this month, so it stays there even longer. Now, what does this mean? Some people say when Venus is retrograde, then it's important not to necessarily leap into a serious relationship. But having said that, because it's retrograde, it could be that an ex-lover turns up or a past creative passion gets reignited. So it's super exciting. And either way, you will be having such a lot of fun and be creative and open-hearted and bold and brazen. So that is brilliant news. Now, Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, is going retrograde also. So there could be some issues from last year coming up for you, connected to your career, or perhaps even another opportunity, but it could create massive change as Pluto goes back into Capricorn. How have you felt about big issues uh, about life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, all the kind of primal emotions since Pluto's been in Aquarius. It's going to be back in Aquarius. So, you know, ponder on it, how you can make the most of it. But when it goes into Capricorn, it's all about career. And you may decide to make some radical career change this month. Now, Mercury is entering Gemini, which is fabulous news because it makes you very quick witted. Your mind is full of ideas just make sure that you put those ideas into action. And the new moon in Gemini is perfect to chuck out ideas 
or thoughts that no longer serve you. You know, we often hang on to dreams or something we've set our mind to, but really, if we let it go, something better could come towards us. So if you're clinging on to ideas or old thought patterns, old ways of thinking, let it go on the 18th with that new moon in Gemini. When we get to the end of the month, the sun goes into Cancer and it's a time really when we're starting to think about home and family. You want to get cosy, you want to get higgy, you want to snuggle in after your big outgoing month with all that fiery energy. It's about your emotions and feeling secure on an emotional level. But there could be some talk about moving or changing your home environment or someone moving in or moving out. Neptune is also going retrograde on the 30th. But that's good because it allows us to put our dreams into actions. We don't get lost in fantasy. Well, how pleasurable and fabulous this month. I'm excited. May all of your blessings and dreams come true. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five minute, no questions asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are handpicked. They have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home. 